Hello. Yeah, no, not long past York, so it's pretty quiet. No, good, yeah. E, did you see that picture Kerry put on Facebook? Good evening to folks joining us at York. First class is towards the rear of the train. Quiet coach is coach D. We'll be calling at Darlington, Durham, Newcastle. Bloody massive, it looks like she's shagged Shrek. And finally arriving into Edinburgh at 22.16. Apologies for the delay in announcement there, folks. Um, seems it's just me running the show today. Again. Do you want me to drive the train and all? They'll be charging a council tax soon. We also have a refreshments bag on board this evening, ladies and gentlemen, provided by yours truly. So please keep the aisles clear of luggage and legs. No, they're all right for a bunch of trust fund wankers cutting about in their vintage adidas chatting about their gap yards in Cambodia. No, hello, hello, you're cutting out, hello? Could you speak a bit more quietly, please? No, no, me signal's bad. Yeah, Indian? No, uh, Chinese? No, not that one, do you remember what happened last time? No, you're cutting out, hello? Chinese? Chinese, hello? Hello? <sighs> Oh my God, what do you want? You're disrupting this whole carriage with your conversation. I can barely hear myself think. No, I never. You bloody cheek. I'm, you what? If you spent a bit less time on that thing, you might remember how to speak to a real person. And don't OK boomer me, because I know what it means. OK. Karen? Well, so just because back in your day, they had to send a telegram to get a takeaway and everyone was a racist. Cheeky sod. I'm not that old. Everybody was a racist, though. Or a nons. Excuse me? <gasps> nons. Sorry. So where are you off to, then, Your Highness? Middlesbrough. Oh, bless you. So are you visiting family, or are you just taking in the sights? Coming back from visiting my family down in Manchester. That's nice. So? Where are you headed then? Durham. Ooh, <laughs> posh. Clearly you've never been out the city. It's a lovely town, Durham. Aye, ah, it's fine. It's a bit boring. The students are proper to us. You want to mind your language. You ever been up for the Miners Gala? No. It's mint. It was so class when you were like 15 and you just go and get pissed in a field and no one could say fuck all about it because they were so caught up in the solidarity. Solidarity. Aye. I miss those days, man. The years go by so fast, don't they? The years go by so fast. Yeah, what? 20? 18. <laughs> You're barely old enough to drink. Don't go get nostalgic now. <laughs> yeah, I heard the legal age is 12 in Borough. Gives the Ben something to do. Game over. You'd love it at the gala, you man. Oh, they get you on security. You get a right kick out of it. Yeah. Be well, well, well. It's all this. That's then. coppers. You're not a Tory, are you? I am not a bloody Tory. All right, I'm a bloody all right. borough. All right, well, all the other buggers there voted a Tory, didn't oh, they? Oh, God, don't. I was appalled. Absolutely appalled. Appalled. Crisps. Tea, uh, biscuits, cheese and onion, chicken salad, tiny bottles of Prosecco for £10. Here, what are your family doing? A salt doing? and vinegar. In Manchester. Smoky when... bacon. They're, uh, barbecue. There's a canny crisp selection here, like. <laughs> The, uh, the Miss Daughter lives down there with her husband and my grandkids. He's from there, so they moved down just after the boys were born. His dad owns a few properties. Cooler so hoops. No, thank you. Oh, okay, cool. Yeah, me and my sister used to love singing that song, National Express. I uh, don't think I know that one. Ah, oh, yeah, you do, man. Um, when you're feeling depressed, take the National Express. There's a jolly hostess. <laughs> Literally no clue what oh, you're talking man. about. Oh, man, how does it go? Um, serving crisps and... Serving crisps and... Chicken salad sandwich. 
serving crisps and tea, something, 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 but the, it's hard to get by when your arse is the size of a small country. I don't know it and you shouldn't say that about people. Oh, me and Beth used to love that, man. Mm. Oh, actually, I could murder a packet of quavers. So, uh, you off to see your sister today then? Oh, no, she's dead. Oh, God, I'm sorry. Oh, it, it's fine. It was five years sorry, ago. Sorry, I didn't mean that. Honestly, it's fine. Sorry. Will I go and get you some quavers? <laughs> Don't be silly. No, it was just a... I'll go. Quavers, please. £2.50. Take it or leave it. Lump it for all I'm concerned. Thank you. No bother. <laughs> What are you doing? What? That's my sister. Where? She's been reincarnated. What? What are you talking about? You were going to eat my sister. What? I'm just messing with oh, you. You're going to give me a heart attack. Sorry. It's what happens when I don't have my phone to keep us entertained. Anyway, she wouldn't be a quaver. She'd be a Hi, sweet chicken McCoy's. Is that a good thing? Oh, it's only the best crisp going. Oh, okay. I imagine she had a bit more grace and tact than you then. Yeah. You must miss her. Yeah. She'd be dead proud of us, like. Shocked, probably. Everyone always thought it would be her to go to uni. Nobody ever thought it would be me. I'm finishing my first semester now. Uh, Leeds, history. I should have loved that. Yeah, I'm sure she would. Remember that thing I said about the gala? It was literally two minutes ago. I'm honestly not that old. It was her that used to drag us there. She loved it. She'd listen to all the speeches and she'd clap and cheer at the end. She'd even take all the punters leaflets and not throw them in the bin. She'd read them all on the way home. Do you remember what I said about the uh, going drinking in the field? Yes. Well, I actually did listen one year, two years after she died. I even took some leaflets as well. Oh, so you're not an absolute heathen then? Well, I did try and roll a joint out of them afterwards. But that worked really well. <laughs> I was a bit weird smoking Jez's face, but yeah, that's all part of the experience. I do try and do things like that though. Go to speeches and that, I mean. I try to fill in the steps of her life that she can't do anymore, but I just feel like I'm getting them wrong. Like, I'm doing a really shit impersonation and it's just not me. It's like I'm shouting for two voices instead of one, but it just feels loud. And then I go home and I lie in bed and everything feels different. Like I've been conning everyone all day. Huh. Did you ever get that? My mum keeps saying Beth lives through me, like the fucking Lion King or something. He lives in me. And that's why I keep trying with uni and that, you know, but it's a lot. Like, it's a lot. You just want some quiet. <laughs> yeah. What do you want to do? What? What do you want to do? I want to go home, have a Chinese with my mum and watch Greatest Dancer. Well, that sounds like a load of shite. Eee, language! You don't have to be her. You don't have to do what she wanted to do. Hey, you could move home. I bet your mum would like that. Yeah, no, being away is not the problem. I love being away. We'd be at each other's throats otherwise. Yeah, yeah. I know what that's like. Listen, do you know what I used to do when I lost me mum? What? I used to call her. Calling a dead person? I right. I'd sound stupid, but I'd just leave a message. Just have a conversation. And I think it might help you to separate from Beth if you could do that. You know, just... Set aside some time every day, every week even. You'll remember her voice. It doesn't have to be yours. Just 
caller. That sounds a bit weird, but thanks. Can I ask, what are you doing up in Borough if your family are in Manchester? It's a bit of a trek. It's just where I'm from. I've always lived there. I stayed there and looked after my mum when she got uh, old and withered like me. Oh, well, you're not withered. Oh, thanks. I thought our Emma might do the same for me, to be honest, but uh, she met David and moved down there to be with him, so... End of an era? Yeah. It's just you up in Borough? Yeah. And you're telling me to move home. Why don't you move down there, man? You get some more time with your grandkids. Oh, I'd love that, but uh, I don't think they'd have me. Well, I didn't mean move in with them. No, I know, I know, but... No. I'm too old to uproot myself now. Oh, what are roots though? They're not static. You'll just, I don't know, take them with you. I suppose you might be right. <laughs> hey, just think about your mum and your gallivanting round Leeds because you might end up staying there. Yeah, I will, I will, don't Yeah, worry. just remember to give her a call from time to time. You know, both of them. I will. In a few minutes time, we will be arriving in sunny Darlington. Darlington will be your next station stop, so please take all your personal belongings with you and mind the gap when you leave the train. Darlington! All right, well, this is me. The minutes go by so fast, don't they? Um, what was your name, by the oh. way? Oh, uh, Liz. Rachel. Oh, pleased to meet you. <laughs> you okay, love? Rachel? It's me sister, Beth. What? On the fucking phone! What? It's Beth! <laughs> Hello? Hiya, Mum. Did you get me chow me? Jesus, Mary and Joseph. <laughs> okay. All right, yeah, no, 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 I'll, I'll ring you later, ma'am. Okay, yeah, love you, bye. You bloody... You'd believe it out, you. And you'd go a long way for a cheap gag. Well, I'm the getting The cheap off. gags is all I got. Bada bing, bada boom. No, it isn't. Bye, love. Nice to meet you. Hiya, hi, are you all right? Beth? I'm doing great. Tell me about you. I'm just... Haha, <laughs> got you. Leave a message and I'll get back. Bye. You little shit. <laughs> 